Hey there, my name is Linda Kuhar, and I'm a women's Christian life coach, speaker, and writer. And today I am doing something that I have been so afraid of, and I'm just going to jump in and do it. I am actually posting right now my very first vlog. I have been stressing out forever about just posting a video, and you know, today I decided no more sitting here and stressing out over my fears and just sitting and just staying in anxiety over something so simple. So I just thought I'm just going to jump in and I'm just going to do it. I mean, I don't even have any special outfit on or anything. I'm just, I'm just doing it. And um, so anyway, to ensure accountability that I will continue um, posting vlogs, I am letting you all know that for the next seven days, I will post a vlog. And it just might be one minute, it might be five minutes. I have no idea what it's going to be about. Um, just whatever God places on my heart that day during the quiet time, I'm just going to um, just share a video with you just to overcome this fear. And I hope by me doing this um, and sharing my experience with you that it will encourage you um, also to embrace your fears and overcome whatever it is that you're stressing out and freaking out about doing. Um, so I'm not sure if you guys know my story, um, but I will give you a very quick um, uh, overview of it. If you see the sign behind me, there's a sign that says Believe in Miracles. Um, and my mother actually gave me that um, about four years ago while I was battling cancer on uh, May 11th, 2009. Um, I went to the doctor for a cold and found out that I had stage 3 Hodgkin's lymphoma. Um, so we started chemo right away, and um, about six months into the um, journey and going through chemo, um, I contracted H1N1 and was hospitalized, um, put into a medically induced coma. Um, I was on life support and given less than 5% chance of survival. My friends got together and had a prayer vigil, and God provided an absolute miracle. Um, today, I am cancer-free. Um, I am healthy. I can run, walk, um, do everything. Um, when I came out of the coma, they said I would permanently be with a trach. You can see my um, trach scar right here. Um, that I would be with a trach and in a wheelchair permanently. And actually, six months after they said that, I started training for my very first half marathon with a team and training with the Leukemia and Lymphoma Society. Um, so God does provide um, miracles, and um, I just hope that my story will inspire you um, to just never give up hope and to always trust in God. Um, but anyway, on another note, um, even though I've overcome all those things and, and fought through so many hard times, um, something as simple as putting up a little video um, blog has stressed me out and just put me in so much fear. And um, so anyway, no matter what you're facing in your life, um, just I want to challenge you today to just take that leap of faith and just do, just even if it's a baby step, and just embrace that fear today. Um, so I look forward to talking to you tomorrow. And thanks so much for embracing my journey of fear. Take care, guys.